Okay guys, we're gonna do a little quick walk around on, so this is uh, their new 700 XMR, so a brand new chassis. So biggest, uh, well, obviously every single thing has changed, plastics, everything, uh, but big change for them is they went away from trailing arms and they're to a dual A-arm setup on the rear. So uh, I was looking under the seat, they relocated the battery, so the battery is no longer here. So the battery is in back here. Uh, I think there's maybe you still might be able to boost it from up here. Not really sure, but. So 700 single, big 700 single. So it looks like an all new front diff. And like I said, all new frame. New high mounted rad. Looks pretty decent. You got your air box drain. Looks like the brake lines might be easier to replace. You guys know before if you ripped off a brake line, usually you were doing the whole system. There's a back shot of those new LED headlights that are in the other models as well. I think they look pretty cool. So as with the Commander XMR, when they were making their own tires, these are XPS tires as well. Swamp Kings, they're called. Look like a pretty, they kind of look like a cross between, I don't know what, like an old old school silverback, but way more voids. So they look like they chew pretty good. Really nice and closed in, so I bet you that does away with all the heat on the leg. Sway bar in the rear. So it looks like it still has its own standalone rear diff with a rear drive shaft. Integrated hitch. That's pretty cool. So if you guys noticed, um, not an XMR model because of the rads mounted up high, but on the normal models, the front rack options, they got a jerry can option that mounts low in the frame, a chainsaw mount that mounts low. So really they added some versatility in some of their other models. So I'm freaking excited. I know a lot of people weren't too excited, but this is like a, a preview of maybe what's more to come. So like the ground clearance looks really good. One of these days we'll take one for a rip and see what we like. So this is probably all redesigned as well. Maybe we'll see if we can pop this pot off if it's not too hard. I'd like, I'm curious to see what the snorkel looks like under here. Okay, I smashed my thumb getting this off, but super cool. Everything's tucked up nice and tight. Um, that looks like air filter there because no longer is your air filter under the seat. They got a really nice storage compartment with an integrated phone holder with a magnet. So feels like it's pretty, whoops, sorry guys. Feels like it's pretty strong. So that's pretty freaking cool. And they got an outlet in there so you could probably charge it on the trail. I don't really see much of a, oh, there is too a rubber gasket. So that's definitely, I don't know about submersion, but that'll definitely keep uh, splashes out for sure. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, there's a lot of little integrated features that I'm pretty excited about. You could tell that this one was one of the ones that was used in the photo shoot for sure. <laughs> So yeah, for sure, that's air filter. And then same thing, right? You got your, uh, this is probably your built exhaust and it goes back down and blows on the normal exhaust, kind of like the other models. This is probably your air intake and this might be your CVT intake. I'm just talking out my butt here. I don't really know, but that's what it looks like. But yeah, man, it's pretty cool. This pops off pretty easy. You just uh, push this little tab here and there's just two little twist screws here sorry again I'm not showing very good two little twist screws that pops off super quick so so yeah <clears throat> I wonder if they'll offer a you know like you can get that raised kit like they have one on this is usually the, the outlander that we get to wreck so it's got that snorkel riser on it so I wonder if they'll offer a snorkel riser for this guy so but all in all yeah that's it guys um, We've never really tried this before, but we're staying off site. So I might try to upload this video for you guys. Just a short little walk around on the new XMR 700. So like I said, I'm, I'm excited. You guys should be excited too. This is just a sign of what's, what's to come. So I can't wait to, to, to ride one and see what the difference is. And then maybe they'll throw a bit more power at it. We'll see. Right on.